Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I would do a revisit of the ZD Racing Rocket S16, this all-wheel drive Porsche RC brushless car that I reviewed this back um, last summer and I never really got a chance to do a follow-up and I did it on the tennis courts at my hometown. It wasn't the best surface for really showing any kind of drifting. So I thought I'd take it here in my garage where the floor is rather slick though it is i've swept it but it's still a little bit grimy from the stuff tracked in with the winter snowfall we had a few weeks ago so it may not be ideal but it should be better than you know a more textured surface so i'll drive i thought i'd drive around here in the garage real quick then i might take it out and just do a few you know kind of speed runs i don't have any uh, gps speed reader attached i might do another video with that but i know that this is not much different than the brushed one in fact uh, David over at Perth West Oz RC had mentioned that sometimes the brushed one actually I think was a couple miles per hour faster which is really hard to believe but who knows you know how the it, the you know, the motor is and here is the little brushless motor as you can see it has these red and blue LED strips that kind of makes a purple hue um, it gives it that glow on the ground which is really neat I love the LEDs it's such an inexpensive but really cool touch to give it that on-road streetcar kind of souped up uh, fast and furious type you know stuff that they do so let's put it down and i'll drive it around here and this will be a relatively short video since if you want to see the four of you uh try to remember to place a card if not just check my channel for the four of you from about six months ago of this guy so let's just drive him around here now obviously with it being daylight the leds are not going to show up so great but they'll show up okay here in the garage where i'm in the shade yeah. And that's something I wasn't able to drift like this. As I mentioned, it drifted some, but not, not like this. Because the tennis court was just a little too textured. And I just didn't have a, a good place. The one area I wanted to do it at the basketball court, right when I got there, some kids started playing basketball. And I knew that probably wouldn't go well with me trying to drive a car around. See, leaving some tire tracks there. It's got these, uh, you know, on-road tires, which I didn't mention. They're like, they're like a foam, uh, they're rubber, I should say, but they've got good grip on them. And they're a pretty nice uh, type of on-road tire. This one just, run, it's well built with the aluminum, our metal type chassis and the you know brushless motor and it uses a 2s uh, lipo <laughs> it really i mean you really can spin donuts but you could drift here like you know, i'm doing a lot of donuts let me try to do hopefully this is i'm not too close here to the uh, car to get it out of the field of view but you can sort of see how you can you can drift like if you were doing, you know, there. that's not quite full speed, but you guys get the idea. So I'm doing a lot of just donuts and that's not really drifting, but you can see though that it certainly will spin around. But if you set it up, you know, if you had a course a little larger this with cones, you could certainly see where you could drift. You got good enough at this you can drift around the corners but if the surface is too slick you're going to be in spinning out a lot like this i mean it's it's hard to find that just right amount of there we kind of did it just right amount of turn and throttle to drift without you know fish tilling around and doing a donut but i see when i just do that yeah you can do a whole lot of, of donuts now this is just a basic, uh, you know, lower cost or the low end ZD racing controllers. Looks a lot like uh, HBX uses this controller and, you know, pretty much exact same controller on some of theirs. So somebody makes this for them. Uh, the higher end ZD racing used to use, they had a really nice controller that came with the, uh, the ZD ZMT-10-9106. 
They've also, I think they've gone, I think they use some Dumbo RC. Um, but on these smaller 116 scale, 118, these tight ones, they tend to use these lower cost ones because the whole kits are, are inexpensive like that. That green 4x4 buggy, I'll probably follow a video on that. That's another very similar design, but it's an off-road buggy. This is brushless that I reviewed also sometime uh, last, early last fall, I believe, or late summer. But what I was getting at is there's no gyro with this receiver and radio system like um, that uh, Pinecone Research uh, little buggy that a lot of people have that has that. I didn't notice a big difference, but the more you do it, the more you'll see that the gyro actually does help with drifting. I didn't see a big difference originally when I did it. You certainly, it certainly, but it certainly makes a huge help in keeping the car in a straight line. And this car doesn't have that. <coughs> but, you know, it's got pretty good, I, I've got my steering's a little out of whack here, guys. So let's trim that up. But it, this car is, got pretty good grip, you know, tires on it. It's not really going to, uh, be a big deal keeping a straight line so let's I need to trim it up a little bit more that's why I'm kind of losing my it's going to the left so let me give it a little more right trim that's not too bad looks like it's going to the right a little bit still yeah I may not have had it trimmed up really well last time I ran it, but on these RC cars, you can always bump and kind of knock the servo and especially the cheaper ones like this and then you end up having to re-trim it again. That's not at all uncommon. As you see, not, not super fast, even though it's brushless. Now, I don't know if you could go 3S. I wouldn't probably try it on this little ESC. You'd probably fry it, but you can see why the brush model is really not much different. So, you know, either one's fine. And brushless, you typically get a little more kick, a little more uh, instant throttle. So I would go with the brushless just for that. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that's enough to show you. I said I wanted to keep this video pretty short, so. You can see this is really cool. I, I like this a lot. That's why I wanted to revisit it. So this is a ZD Racing S16 Rocket. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Click that bell so you know when I upload new videos, you get notified. Give me a big thumbs up. I really appreciate those. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day. The power of the dark side, 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 side.